I'm Hugh Hunt and I'm a Fellow in Engineering here at Trinity College in Cambridge. I'm interested in dynamics and vibration and mechanics and things like how Guy Martin might clear a fence on a motorbike. And I'm Chloe Caron, I'm a third year engineer at Trinity College. So um, Guy Martin is trying to jump a fence on a motorbike and he's going to sort of launch himself off a ramp at some angle, call it theta. Mm -hmm. Now there's a couple of things we're interested in. One is how high he goes, call that h for height, and the distance that he goes, call that distance. Now if I write down the formula for the distance he goes, I think that comes out as your speed squared divided by gravity times sine 2 theta. <laughs> now, what does that tell us about the angle you have to go at to, to jump the furthest? Hmm. So we can't change V and we can't change G but we can change the angle that he launches himself at. So if we draw the sine curve... Okay. Mm. So there's a sine curve like that. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So we know the maximum is at 90 degrees. So the maximum distance we get is when this is 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that would mean that at 45 degrees, that's where he... Goes right, the okay, so 2 theta is 90 degrees, so mm -hmm. 45 degrees gives me the maximum distance. Oh. That's quite a good result, isn't it? Yes, that's quite neat. 